Hello everyone. Today is March 2nd, 2020. I have the Atlas line on the chart. I want to show you how to trade the Atlas line under these more volatile conditions, what to expect. Order submitted. 297475 is the order on the Atlas line and that's where I want to be short or at least as order filled. close as possible to that order. I have to increase the, the targets and I have to increase the stops as well. Uh, because the market is so volatile. I also want to add the ATR, the average true range, just to give you a sense of what we're looking at. 14 points, huge volatile situation that we have. That means that the market is able to produce 14 points in distance up or down. And that's why I have my ruler indicating where 14 points happens to be based on where that signal occurred. So that would be the profit target, 14 points. You don't have to take 14 points. So this is an exaggeration of volatility. You can take three, four, five, 10, 14 points is what you're seeing as a possibility based on what I teach. The ATR, the average true range, showing you that distance the market could make. Before we continue, remember trading is risky. Please do not trade with funds you cannot afford to lose. Talk to your broker. Trading is risky, especially if you're looking at these more volatile times. Now, the Atlas line is a directional software with signals. It has been extremely accurate, especially under these volatile conditions. I get a lot of emails on traders who are using the Atlas line. This is the first trade of the day. I want to show you all the trades that happened for today as well. So when the day is just about over, I'm going to show you the result for the day as well. This is the first trade and only trade that I want to take today on the Atlas line. There's a lots of scalping trades. There's a, an ATO trade. There's so many other trades. This is all that I'm taking for today. You can see the market is moving in my favor. I definitely money on this trade. So as we start getting back to break even, remember, lock in any type of target that you have and get out of the trade. I still think the market could move this 13, 14 points that you see um, should happen in the next four bars, 20 minutes. That is the time-based stop rules that I teach. Another thing you should be aware of is the increase in margin that your broker is probably going to ask you because of these more volatile conditions. Be aware of that. Talk to your broker. Make sure that you're able to trade with the margin you have. Target filled. All right. I just got the target. This was a great trade on the Atlas line. Let me let me actually fix this here with the text and marker to show you the signals, the entries, the target, and the profit. The signal, the entry the targets and the profits made here. Let me show you the rest of the day. All right, so as promised, this is the entire day for the E-mini S&P using the Atlas line. Let me just expand here the chart so you could see the first trade of the day. Here was the short at 29.74.75 with just the one trade, about 10, 11 points, and you're out and you're done. I received so much email on traders who took this trade. I'm really happy for the guys who following the Atlas line and who follow the way that I trade using not just the Atlas line of software, but price action to get you in and out of these trades. If you are unable to trade the E-mini S&P due to the volatility and also due to the amount of margin that your broker may be requesting from you, then use the micro E-mini, the MES, which I'm going to switch to in just a moment. So here is the short on the E-mini S&P. A couple of pullback and strength trades. I don't think they are worth taking under these volatile conditions. It's more the main signal. Now here is a long on the Atlas line, 29.77.75, a nice long trade. And the market kept on going up and up and up. 20, 30 points easy here on the long. Now I'm not suggesting that you should take both. I'm more inclined to say trade less than trade more. I'm not even considering these strength and pullback trades you see here to the long side. I think the main signals are well worth taking. Limit your risk or trade the market, the um, the MES micro mini S&P. 
Okay, so let me switch over to the micro. So here is the micro E-mini S&P. M-E-S, right over here. And what we're going to see is something very similar. The results are similar. Here is the short signal on the micro E-mini S&P at 29.75, right here. Same result, less risk here in the S&P. Same results as you could see, just with less risk, especially under these more volatile conditions. And that's the micro E-mini S&P. If you're new to day trading, don't trade these markets on your own. Let us help you and answer all your questions. Join the next all-inclusive mentorship program at daytradetowin.com.